Since when do kids speak to their parents like that? I'm guessing since the beginning of time. She gets that from her mother. <laughs> well, from where I'm standing, she has a little bit of her father wrapped up in there, too. Hmm. You think I'm a jerk, don't you? I don't make it a habit of sticking my nose into other people's business, but... Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Listen. Kids say things. But the fact of the matter is that, that that girl, she loves you. Yeah. I know. And let me tell you something else. I would give anything. I'd give the world to have the opportunity to be cussed out by my son Stan again. Even though I would have to thwack him on the head again. Has I? My son. He uh, passed away a year ago. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. You're a lucky man, Mr. Scorpio. Lucky enough to get cancer. Lucky enough to have this opportunity to spend time with your daughter. That's not something that God has given me. And so I, I look at you and I wonder, why are you running away from it? So you're 27 years old. Yep. Like Janis Joplin, Hendrix, Jim Morrison, they were all 27 when they died. Yeah. So you think if you die young, everyone will suddenly realize how brilliant you are after you're gone. Son, dying young isn't why those guys are legends. They're legends because they live. What do you mean? And they wrote songs about life. They were passionate because they lived life. You're a songwriter, right? Yeah. You have to live and experience things in order to have something worth writing about. You can't check out of this game this early. So how's my favorite little five-year-old doing? Exhausted. <laughs> he should be. It's past his bedtime. We actually came in to see uh, Dr. Batra. Really? Mm-hmm. So she called... I'm sorry. I shouldn't cry. <laughs> That's okay. I should have told you sooner. It's, it's been difficult. Told me what? Stone has autism. Or some form of it. You were right. That's weird. This is the first time I said it out loud, and my son is autistic. You know what? He's still an amazing little guy. Yeah. I owe you an apology. For what? For lashing at you the other day. I mean, you were just trying to help me. You know what? We're family. And sometimes... Family say things that they don't mean. <laughs> and then they get over it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See you later. Okay. Dr. McCullen, surgery, please. Dr. McCullen. Are those yours? Don't you have work to do? <gasps> they are. Epiphany has a boyfriend. They're from a patient. Red roses? The only patient that's going to give you red roses is a patient that wants to get down your pants. Dr. Simpson. They're from Mrs. DeCovney. The gallbladder surgery last week. She gave them to me before she left. Last week? Huh. I used to work in a florist, and if I remember correctly, those roses are only a day old. Well, excuse me, Miss CSI Flower Unit. So, who sent them? 
Come on, who's the guy? This, <gasps> is this someone we know? It's no one. It's no one special. Yeah? Well, you guys dating? Is it serious? He's just a guy. Really? Yeah. We went out on one date. It was a total disaster. I don't think I'm going to see him again. Mm. Sorry. Hey, at least you got roses out of it. All I usually get is a hangover. She clearly gave consent. She gave consent to donate organs. Eggs aren't organs. But they contain organelles. One could construe the two to be the How same. How do we know that her partner's telling the truth? How do we know that she wanted to have a baby? Because I looked into her medical history and she's been coming here for the last six months for fertility treatments. I don't know. I don't know. There's no, there's no precedent for this. There's been no precedent against it either. I can't see it, Dr. Julian. I can't. I appreciate where your heart is coming from, but legally, this is a gray area at best, and this hospital cannot afford a lawsuit. I'm sorry. As doctors, we have to separate our personal feelings from the job. You know, everybody keeps saying that, but do we? I mean, isn't that exactly why I'm trying to be a doctor? With all due respect, Dr. Trank, it's easy for you. You're having a baby without even really trying that hard. But for me, I want to have a family someday, too. I want to get married. I want to have kids. But it's just not so simple because there are so many people standing in the way. I look at Cynthia and Allison, and I think that could be me someday. And my family may not look the same as yours. But can I have one, too? <laughs> 